Hi, I'm Kevin Flood. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Analytical Graphics, and I want to say a few words about digital mission modeling. In our interactions with industry members and thought leaders, we get asked that question a lot, what is the role of mission modeling and why should I care? So there are really three things that I'd like to hit on very briefly. First of all, the role of mission modeling and why it's important in the overall digital transformation. So the digital transformation is important because as some officials in aerospace and defense have commented, we're still living in industrial age for acquisition and engineering where we're relying on documents as the primary model and the primary persistent thread that describes how our systems need to operate. So the transition away from that to persistent digital models is really being driven by the complexity of the missions we're undertaking, the complexity of the engineered systems, and the need for us to move fast as an industry. So that's driving the digital transformation. Now, the second point is why we need a mission model. Traditionally, when we think about the engineering process, we think about the engineered systems and their functional requirements. But in aerospace and defense and space exploration and surveillance and reconnaissance in particular, the ultimate judge of goodness of the engineered system and the systems of systems is how they perform together to achieve the mission objectives. So in the same thought as requiring, uh, capturing requirements for your engineered systems, there ought to be measures of mission effectiveness and they ought to also be captured as digital models. And that's the role of the digital mission model, which is to have a physics-based environment that can incorporate the description of the systems, the engineered systems, the components, the payloads, describe how they operate together and be able to evaluate through simulation the measures of effectiveness when employed in the mission. And the final component is the importance of this mission model throughout the life cycle, not just in the concept of development and the engineering process. So these mission threads persist from the beginning and the concept through the test and evaluation, which allows us to create separate mission threads and other measures of mission effectiveness, and all the way through operations. And an important thing to consider, too, is that our concepts of the mission for these kinds of systems at the outset of the engineering process will change dramatically over the lifetime of these systems. So having that thread that persists throughout the lifetime that can be updated to evaluate how existing systems and new engineered systems work together to achieve mission outcomes is critically important. So if this makes sense to you or you'd like to find out some more information, please come and visit us at Space Symposium or visit us at the link below. Thank you.